My name is Asaya Hassan. I'm the president of the National Association of Law Students. Um, I'm sure by now I've, our issues about the 499 wanting admission into the law school who actually pass the law exams as per the rules of the IEC, which has already been petitioned to your office through the agri students. Um, in addition to that, we of the National Association of Law Students also thought it wise to ask, add our voice and also let you know what is going on within the legal fraternity, which is normally of um, um, a negative effect on the students. Um, one is to the effect that we are requesting for the faculties to be open so that legal education can be open or assessed by all. The exam in place is actually an impediment of some sort, which is to say that you have about 19 faculties who are wishing or hoping to get access into the Ghana uh, Law School. In fact, that is just one school. It's just like saying all JSS students are going into Fanfare. We are asking that the faculties be allowed to run the course so that we are able to uh, get access into the Law School. The second one has to do with even people going outside the country to read the course. And when they come, they are penalized by having to pay huge sums of money to be able to do their post course. Even in the law school, there is a repeat system which actually frustrates those in the school itself, which is to say that when you fail three courses, you repeat all of the other courses. Now, in, in view of all this, we are requesting that the 499 be given admission into the law school, which is, I think, their right, and this injustice should be castilled. Beyond that, we are also seeking for the reforms which I've already placed before you for your consideration. For that reason, we present this petition. Thank you very much, um, President. I'm receiving this um, on behalf of the presidency, and I think it's proper that I welcome you to the Jubilee House, which is the seat of this nation's presidency. Now, it is very important that you mention that you had submitted a petition already. It was received by my colleague, the uh, President's Council. Um, as it is, you being law students are more than aware of a theory that operates everywhere called the separation of powers. Ordinarily, the presidency would not want to extend its jurisdiction into the remit of the judiciary. Ordinarily, we would not want to do that. But to the extent that His Excellency the President swore an oath on the 7th of January, which includes the protection of the rights of each and every citizen in this country, he has to necessarily take consideration of this. But it may be wise to also inform you that pursuant to your submission of the first petition, it has been forwarded to the AG for the necessary framework to be looked at in order to bring a practical solution to this in consultation with the other arms of government. So it is not as if we are sitting on our oars. We are watching what is going on. And to the extent that we have a certain remit within which to do certain things, of course, the presidency is inclined to give ear to that. And it has found expression with the AG. We have sent the petition there to see what the AG can do about it. There are other matters that you raised about those taking courses for post score outside in Gambia and the like. Uh, you also know that people have a right to free expression. If it is their choice to go and do their course elsewhere, if it's not the presidency, that can hold them. Or if there are administrative fees that are set within the General Legal Council for the continuation or promotion of this program, we have very little to do with it. We can only plead with them in some way or we can only impress upon them to reconsider some of the fees. But to think how with the way they operate the thing might also be um, uh, creating a problem by solving another one. So as best as we can, we shall let the AG come out with some proposals or some modalities so that when they meet at the GLC level, they may be able to consider this thing. And hopefully the issues that are affecting not only the 499 students, but the repeat students and the rest will be dealt with politically and will not return to this. Thank you very much for bringing this petition to the presidency. It shall be addressed further, based on what I've told you. We are most grateful for your presence here.